in my last video, I explained how to graph uh, an exponential curve without calculator. So we saw, let me go over the basic idea. So when you graph this, we saw these values from these positive values of x. We could say when x is approaching positive infinity, uh, even if you don't want to go to positive infinity, when x is approaching, say, even say 20 or 30, y will be approaching an astronomical figure. And that's why it's called a exponential curve on specifically it's also called a growth curve in uh, science uh, especially in biology and physics and even chemistry you come across growth curve even in economics this is widely used okay so this is called a growth curve so when x is approaching x is becoming bigger uh, positively this y will be approaching infinity and when you took the negative values we saw that as x, x is approaching negative values or becoming smaller and smaller, less than zero, your y will be approaching zero. It will never become zero. And I told you this is an asymptote. So let us graphically understand this and see whether, uh, how can we do this graph or how can we check our answer. So I have drawn the graph. So this is, so let me delete this. So let us take a scale from a standard scale of negative 10 to 10 on both the axes and then draw y a2 raised to x okay just to see the graph so can you see this graph and this graph so let us find some values so g sol the first thing that i told you in the last video is your y intercept is important so you go y intercept uh, is 0 1 when x is 0 y is 1 so this is a for any basic exponent you change the value of 2 to 3, suppose let me change that, suppose if you have a positive number there of course, suppose if you change that to 2 to the power 3, the shape of the curve is the same, okay, and one common feature that you will find, the y-intercept is always 0, 1. I hope you understand why, because when you're raising uh, this by 0, any number raised to 0 is 1, so any exponential graph, positive expo uh, if you have this number to be positive irrespective of the number it will be passing through one so let me give you one more example suppose you type in any number say it is say 0 point uh, not 0 0.5 suppose 5 raised to x can you see the graph will, will become steeper but will always pass through one okay so that's one common feature of uh, exponential graph so let me bring back 2 to the power x okay so this is your graph y is equal to 2 to the power x so first feature is your y intercept is always going to be 1 in this case when the number is positive so what happens so let me go g sol and find when find y calc when x is say 2 when x is 2 y is 4 can you see when x is 2 y is 4 so let me take say y calc when x is say 10 okay that may be a huge number yeah when x is 10 y is 10 1024 okay again g sol and let us take some negative values when x is negative 2 when x is negative 2 so can you see when x is negative 2 y is 0.25 okay and let me go g sol and y calc when x is say negative 10 what will happen this is this is 9.76 whatever times 10 to the power negative 4 okay that's a very sm small number is almost zero okay so let me draw this again g solve and take say y calc when x is negative 5 this is 0 0.03125 in other words when x is approaching uh, negative values your y will be approaching zero this will never become zero uh, but uh, this will be approaching zero or your x-axis will become the asymptote so along with this so one other thing that you I told you that if you put say 0 0.5 raised to x sorry 0 0.5 raised to x what type of graph would you expect to uh, would, it be, would it be an exponential graph or a decay curve? I don't know, so let's draw it. 
So this is called a DK curve. But the main feature I want to explain here, this will also pass through 1. So if you go G solve and Y intercept, it's always pass, also passing through 1. So in other words, what I'm trying to explain is, if you have, say, 3 to the, let us draw both the graphs. So the first graph is, this is, this graph is Y is equal to 0 0.5 to the power, 5 to the, 0 0.5 to the power X, which is a DK curve. And this is 3 to the power x, which is a growth curve. So in other words, when you have a decimal number between 0 and 1 here, yeah, this will be a decay curve. If it's between 0 and 1, this will be a decay curve. And if it's a number, if this number is a positive number greater than 1, then it will be a growth curve. So let me draw one more decay curve so that you can see. So let me do 0 0.25 to the power x. So these are both decay curves. Okay, those, this is 0. Point, the first graph is 0. 0.5 and the second graph is 0. 0.25. So draw it. So both the graphs. Okay. And what happens if it is 1? That's really interesting. 1 to the power x. Can you visualize 1 to the power? If when you raise 1 by any number, what will be the answer? 1 to the power 2 is 1. 1 cube is 1. So this is very interesting. So let me show you this. Over. Let me draw it. So this is, this line is 1 to, 1 to the power x. Okay. So let me draw, say, 2 to the power x and 3 to the power x. So you can see. So these two graphs are decay curve. This is 1 to the power x, and these two are growth curve. So in other words, when the number is between 0 and 1, it will become a decay curve. When it is 1, it becomes a line. And when it's a number greater than 1, it will become a growth curve. 